The Kentucky Speedway has become a massive holding lot for thousands of tractor trailers and pickup trucks. After learning it was taking off the 2021 NASCAR schedule, the Speedway started leasing parking places. Uh, it's part of the track's plan to rebound from losses due to COVID restrictions and the loss of NASCAR. So what's inside these trailers? New this morning, Chief Investigative Reporter Craig Cheatham found out. These semi-truck trailers at Kentucky Speedway are filled with Amazon customer returns waiting in mass for their final destination. They had to go somewhere. There was a lot of land that was available and they found it. Wash windshield wiper. Matt Foreman, the owner of First Choice Liquidations in Burlington, says he bought a load of medium-sized boxes off one of those trailers. Sight unseen is delivered here. Uh, you open up the back of the truck and it's the biggest surprise to you, it is to me. Foreman says many customers return the merchandise because the shipping boxes are damaged. These are some of the customer returns from one of those Amazon trailers at the Kentucky Speedway. This stack has a Bluetooth speaker system. And over here in this box, hundreds of pounds of dog food. There are thousands of trailers on one side of State Route 35 in Sparta and thousands of pickup trucks waiting for foreign made computer chips on the other side of the road. The Speedway has paid undisclosed storage fees to keep them here while the racetrack tries to reinvent itself after being taken off NASCAR's 2021 race schedule. They're doing what they need to do to survive today. The pandemic's still going on, but I do feel confident that a race will come back and more demand will come back to that facility. But for now, Kentucky Speedway is a massive long-term parking lot that's created a new course of business for the racetrack and opportunities for businesses like the one owned by Matt Foreman. Here we have a Callaway golf set. In Burlington, Craig Cheatham. Never been open. WCPO 9 I team. Kentucky Speedway says it's transitioning to a multi use facility that may include auto racing, music festivals, and camping events. But one commercial real estate expert thinks the Speedway may go in a different direction. You can learn more about this tonight at 6 and right now on WCPO.com.